Alright, so we're back for another session. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, head northwest here along it. Uh, I believe this is road 86. Yeah, this is uh, road 86 and it becomes road 81. So once we get over here, it's road 81. All the ammunition. And our goal is to get as much stuff along the way, and it looks like somebody set up camp over there. So let's go ahead and make our way through this uh, very sketchy but very picturesque location. Yeah, that's someone's camp. And I know there's a cabin up there, but I don't want to go looking for it. And I'm fairly certain this location is like a random Scorch Beast spawn. But I also know there's like a gang up there. Where they would throw people off the uh, cliffs. I don't know if that's changed or not. Hold on a moment. Oh yeah, that's a Blood Eagle. Those Blood Eagle people, from what I've seen of Oxhorn's videos, are not nice people. Just harvest some wood. Why not? Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of fast travel locations over this way. Like, there might be stuff on the other side of the river. Might be. Uh, I haven't looked into it. Like, I need to get, like, an, an exact map of Appalachia just to see where everything is in this game. Anything up in here? Surprise, dirtbag. Darn it. They're too evasive. My vats is not doing anything for me. Sorry, buddy. But it was you or me. And I chose me. So clearly the Blood Eagles have set up a bit of a entrapment around this place. Okay, I don't remember this place being like this. Um, uh, Point Pleasant. Experience the historic Ohio River Valley. The things have changed. So, cultists. Maybe if I approach... Without my weapon. Okay, never mind. These guys are all crazy. So 
So, yeah, not a fan of these cultists. You know, I came to this town because I was told it was a pleasant town. And what do I find? I find a place overrun by cultists. Wonderful. Alright. So, in order to facilitate my travel between this place and, uh, my workshop, what we're gonna do is we are going to, uh, set up my camp over here. Store all my junk. All right, seems like we're gonna have to have a bit of a chat with uh, the townsfolk about being rude to their guests, because uh, this kind of behavior isn't gonna fly, folks. Shotgun shell. We'll take it. I need more shotgun shells. Darn it, they're too far away for me to get a good lock on them. Okay. So, okay, so we've got the uh, fast travel location. That's good. Yeah, if I can get a headshot on them, I'm good, but the problem is they're a bit too far away for me to accurately shoot them in the head. And I just need whoever this is to uh, poke their head out and stop moving. Okay. Pack. Really, though, what I actually need 
Alright, we'll harvest the Mothman eggs. I don't know what we can do with them, but they might be worth some. We'll just loot the whole universe. Alright, we will, what we will do, is here is what I propose, is I will take these guys out, slowly but surely, and each one I take out, I will add their weapons to my, uh, stash, and we are going to systematically eliminate all the uh, cultists in this town. Now, I am very aware that this is not a nice thing, but it must be done. Okay, so, uh, rifle, we can scrap, shotgun, we can scrap, pipe revolver, we can scrap, Oh, vertebrate. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's drink some water. But yeah, uh, these guys kind of need to go. Look at that. They have done that to people. How dare they? That's just rude. Alright, I have a feeling if I go down the middle of town, I'm just gonna get, uh, my butt whooped by all these people. So if I, ins so if I instead circle around... Darn it. I am missing my shots. Alright, so I've noticed something here. My rifle's not doing so hot. And I, I, I realize why. These guys are all armored. Nuka-Cola Cranberry. They're everywhere.
just come on out into the open, buddy. Ah, crap. Alright, where you at, buddy? You, you keep running away, and I can't catch you. So, just come on out. You know what? The time for running is at an end. Ah, well, that wasn't very nice. Marksman's height hardened sniper rifle. Oh, they both use 308, but. Let's go ahead and try this out, since it uh, provides longer range. Oh, that's actually rather nice. Yeah, unfortunately, I do have to, uh... Hold my breath. And since I'm over-encumbered, uh... It's not as effective as it could be. Oh, well. It's a necessary sacrifice. Yeah, uh, you guys in your Mothman, uh, no offense, but I think I'll just, uh, take my good lord and savior Jesus Christ and, uh, be on my way. Alright, yeah, these hot dogs are bad, but whatever. Fuel tank. I'm just looting everything now. But yeah, there's like vines overgrowing everything. Yeah. I can see why this is a cultist town. Coldest. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start heading inside places, and I have a feeling I'm going to want to be prepped for close combat. Like, I hear movement. From a great day of weapons, the worthy will become one with the divine. 
Yeah, I was right. So I'm assuming, uh, oh, great, Mothman. look upon your subjects with mercy and protect them from harm. We'll just, uh, take all the eggs. Capitalism, you know. Proper, proper adventurers such as myself take everything that's not nailed to the floor. My Skyrim days have taught me well. So the remaining enemies I can properly assume are inside. Hear my prayer. Keep us safe from the dangers of beasts and men. Darn. So, joke's on them, because uh, they have barricaded themselves in here. I just have to wait for them to come to into my line of sight. considered uh, seeing a therapist you'll just uh, loot everything So, the remaining enemy, I have to find a way down into the Mothman Museum. So, scrap that. Scrap that. Uh, scrap. Further scrap.
Oh darn, no 308 round? Odd. Like, figures it would it wouldn't be selling the thing I'd actually use. Because that's just Fallout protagonist luck. Stimpak. Okay, uh. He is our shield. Oh, to the divine light. Yeah, uh, you and your divine light, uh, can, uh, go somewhere else. Elegant couches. Like, you know what? Just, uh, going around and getting all this, uh, Stuff is a great idea, actually. Like, just looting everything and going seems to be, like, the way to go. And I seem to be running into the issue of needing a higher level of uh, lock picking. Any other cultists around here that I can shoot up? Alright, uh, knock knock anyone. Uh, I am here to, uh... Take donations for my not cult. It seems this part of town didn't fare so well either. So that's something to take comfort in. Alright, let's go ahead and head back to our camp. Alright. Wilson's Auto Repair. Okay, so... We can't quite get into the Mothman Museum. Uh, simply because, uh... Embarrassingly enough, uh, in order to get to it, you have to, uh... Go north of, uh, a place that I don't particularly want to bother going to right now.
Alright, so I pretty much just have to keep going and waiting and stopping until my AP regenerates, because uh, that's pretty much how this rolls due to the uh, issue of, uh, you know, having uh, an over-filled inventory. You know, I'm not sure what these bones could be used for, but I'll scrap them anyways. Tablespoon. Just wait for my AP to regenerate. So, first order of business, before we do anything, scrap what weapons we don't need. So, 10mm pistol, combat knife, combat knife, pipe revolver, pipe revolver, short hunting rifle, short pipe revolver, and then what we're gonna do is, uh, we are going to, uh, Transfer the sniper rifle, and uh, we'll go ahead and store these for now. But uh, now I have a ton of junk eight items. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to uh, store anything that... Uh, well, first off, we need to store all junk. So we need to store anything that... doesn't spoil if it spoils it goes into uh, I mean if it doesn't spoil it goes into uh It goes into the storage. Bourbon. Beer. Blood pack. Alright, so my question is, what is taking up most of my inventory? Also, uh, we need to, uh... see here what what can uh, I use here all right ammo we'll take the 44.
we'll just need to uh, reload it. So we're going to fast travel back to our farm here. And of course, it puts us right across the river. Because that's how it is. Eight Blamco mac and cheeses. Oh man, this is fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to end off here and I'll see you guys in the next session.